Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a comparison for you between these two Disney Frozen sets. The one in the front is from the Disney Store and the one in the back is the Complete Story set from Mattel. If you haven't already seen my review of each of these sets individually, you can find links to those videos in the box below. So here's Anna. On the right is the one from the Disney Store. And as you can see, she's standing on a base. And you can't move any of her parts. Uh, and the one on the left is the one from the Complete Story set. You can move all of her parts, arms, and legs and head and you can remove her cape. Um, however if you do remove her cape she's unable to stand on her own unless you have her propped up against something. Okay so the Olaf on the left is the one made by Mattel and the one on the right is from the Disney Store. He has more detailing and stands on a base but he does not have any movable parts. Uh, the one on the left, you can move his head, and he has a little less detailing, but he can stand on his own as well. Kristoff on the right is the one that's from the Disney Store. Uh, like all the figurines from this set, he does not have any movable parts, and he's attached to the base he's standing on. Uh, seems to have a little more detail than the one on the left. However, the one on the left uh, does have movable head, arms, torso, and legs. And actually, the one on the left also, his hair looks more blonde than Kristoff on the right. It's just a bit darker. Sven on the right is the one that's from the Disney Store, and he has a lot of really great detailing. His fur and his harness and the hooves. And this is the one that's from Mattel. He doesn't have any detail in his fur. And you can sort of see his harness, but it's not a different color like the one from the Disney Store. So I'd have to say, without a doubt, I like the one from the Disney Store best. Uh, neither of these have any movable parts. Elsa on the right from the Disney store can stand on her own, whereas you can see I have the other one propped up against something because she can't stand on her own. But she does have all movable parts and you can change her clothing. So you can probably see a pretty big difference right here with the Hans on the left from the Mattel set. He's got very red hair and the one on the right has brown hair, the one from the Disney store. Um, again, his parts do not move at all over on the right side, but the Hans on the left, you can move his arms and head and legs. So overall, I think I like the Disney set best because it has so much nice detailing on each of the figures and they're all able to stand on their own. However, I also like the other one because you can move the parts and the clothing on Anna and Elsa can be changed. So let me know which one you guys like best in the comment section. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today. And if you've been trying to decide between which of the two sets to get, I hope this video helped. You can find links to my other Frozen videos in the box below. Thank you for watching and have a great day.